Hello everybody and welcome to this new episode of Sartorial Talks. Today we're going to speak of etiquette. And that is to say the way to behave, the way to remain classy and all the rules, quote-unquote rules, that are um, uh, alive in our menswear industry. And for that I have an expert on my right, Mr. Marc Guillot himself. Hello Marc, how do you Hello. do? Hello, you go. You, Fine. You're okay? Are yeah. you ready to try and break some rules or uh, explain some, rule, some rules. Why not? Why not? So, okay. <laughs> so, the rules we're going to speak about, um, uh, because we receive a lot of questions. Mr. Jacome, is that okay to wear black shoes with this kind of pen? Is it okay to mix stripes with uh, checks? Is it okay to do that and that? Most of the time, what I answer is that, okay, just be confident with your own eye. Be your, own, your self advisor. But there are some rules that, can't, that are quite uh, nice to follow, specifically in the formal uh, settings. But Mark, knowing Mark, he has very, very, um, how can I say that, clear cut rules that he applies since he's a young man, mm -hmm. uh, more or less. Mm -hmm. So I have a list, and we're going to play like a game. Uh, just I'm going to ask you a question and most of the time will be yes or no and you want to explain to me mm -hmm. why uh, sometimes it's yes sometimes it's no and why it is a definite definitively no <laughs> or sometimes you can negotiate a little yeah. bit with the rules <laughs> and you remember that our motto here is that first learn the rule then break them but there's a chronology you have to know the rule yeah. if you want definitely. to break them definitely. okay let's start with one of the most famous uh, no brown in town or in other words uh, you can't wear brown shoes after six o'clock yeah, in town. A, so how do you feel about that? It's a no rule yes. uh, from the past. Uh, times have changed a lot. Yeah. And uh, it, it, it referred to the formal wear after 6 p.m. when, when the, uh, you're going to change to... to for to, dinner. For dinner, right. so uh, with a white tie or tuxedo. Yeah. So evidently it's black shoes. Yes. After 6 p.m. Of course. But uh, times have changed a lot, uh, like I said. And yeah. now I think dark brown shoes for, for the evening or uh, uh, dark uh, ox blood shoes, burgundy. Yes. It's quite uh, acceptable. It's acceptable. Yeah. I agree with you because this no brown in town, some gentlemen still religiously follow this rule. Yeah. Ah, well, good for them. I, 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 I am happy yeah. for, for them. But me too. I think it's, it's really a reflection from the past when people were really putting their real formal mm. uh, suits for dinner. And so it's, a, it's, a, it's less applicable. In it's these a days. little bit obsolete. It's now. a little bit obsolete. Yeah. I agree. So mm. some brown in town, or let's say not, no gold brown. Not light brown. Exactly. <laughs> That's, let's do it. Now. This is Not the new rule. Brown. No light brown in town after six, rather darker, except, of course, if you're having a cocktail around the swimming pool yeah. uh, in a resort. But that's another subject because it's not in the city. Um, second question, and I know you have a very straight answer on that, and we don't totally agree, but uh, it's interesting. Uh, no stripes with checks. Yeah. So... Now, as far as I'm concerned, uh, since uh, I'm a teenager, I, I never, I never wore um, a check shirt. Yes, with a striped tie. Yes, and I never wore uh, a check shirt with a pinstripe suit. It's impossible for you. Uh, for, for me, it's impossible. It doesn't yeah. work. Uh, it doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> like the black suit. <laughs> yeah, but uh, reversely, I've seen, I know you since a long time, you are wearing a, a lot of polka dots. Yeah, polka dots, are, uh, I love them. Uh, m many sizes, different, but uh, even the bold ones. Yes. And uh, yeah, I, I think it can match with a check tie, a check shirt, a striped shirt, yes. or plain shirt, or plain shirt with a contrasting uh, color. Yeah. The, the, the polka dot is a, a very nice pattern for, for a tie. Yeah, and you can match uh, pinstripe suit, uh, Prince of Wales check. Well, it, it works with everything. Yeah, it, it works with a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. yeah polka it's dots. a very nice tie. Sonia, my love, I, I should wear more polka dots because yeah. I don't wear them a lot actually, yeah. and bolder one. And, and yeah, actually, you give me a good idea about that. Concerning checks and stripe, I'm not as uh, clear cut as you are. I can, it, depending on the the strength of the patterns, some very muted. 
things sometimes mm. can work together, but as a rule of thumb, normally I don't mix them too much. Mm. Uh, I prefer to be stripe on stripe with different sizes, of course, mm -hmm. but uh, sometimes I can break a little bit of rules, but once again, you have to look at yourself in the mirror, and yeah. if you like it, go for it. But for you, never I, mix. I won't, I won't break this for okay. ever. Perfect. It's not my test. Okay, next one. Uh, white socks, yes or no? Uh, only for Michael Jackson uh, when he was on stage. <laughs> okay. Otherwise, it doesn't exist. Uh, it exists for sport yes. activities. Yes. Uh, white socks are for sport. Okay. Not for formal or even casual. Okay. We've seen with Sonia some uh, quite elegant gentlemen in Taiwan mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of people in this region of the world, they are trying to revive the white sock because we have the idea that the white socks is always a very thick yeah. socks for sports, yeah. but some of them can be very delicate and beautiful and they're most of the time more off-white than really white, but I, I'm with you on that. White socks is a little bit uh, aggressive to the eye. Mm. Even if my wife, she's very interested in this gentleman trying to, you know, renew a little bit yeah. and break some rules, but uh, I agree with you. No white socks. Okay. Uh, short sleeve shirts. Yes or no? No, never. Okay. No. It's just no. You just have to turn up your, your long your sleeves when, yes. when you're hot. That's all. Like this. Yeah, I can do this. It's much more interesting yeah. to do that. Of right? course. And it's more elegant, of yeah. course. Mm -mm. Yeah. I know in America, a lot of men are wearing these uh, short uh, sleeve shirts, and uh, it's always difficult for me to look at them. Yeah. They all have the same model. It's usually with a blend cotton and polyester. Yes. Yeah. It's not very it's, noble. It, no, stuff. no, no. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, gentlemen, if you like a uh, short sleeve, but short sleeve polo shirts. Yeah, of course you do. Like this one. Yeah. Tell us about this one. Uh, this one is uh, it's from UK. It's from a, a, a British brand, uh, Ben Sherman. Yes. And with ben uh, Sherman. Ben Sherman. Yes. And with uh, during the 60s, uh, late 70s, uh, with the Fred Perry. Yes. It was the two brands for the, the mods. Ah, the, uh, the, movement, the movement, the movement, the musical like movement. Post punk, post punk, uh, uh, late late seventies, early early eighties. With groups like uh, the Jam, yes, Style Council, yes, uh, Paul Weller, exactly. This kind the, of style yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, a funny. My my son loved that mods, and so it's a typical mod. Yeah, this is a typical mods. Uh, yeah. polo, polo, uh, shirt. shirt, yeah, yeah. and shirt. so yeah. for polo shirt, no problem. Short sleeve, for short the, sleeve, for the no problem. Yeah, for summer. Yeah, good. you notice that he's wearing this with a little uh, neckerchief, yeah, on, uh, with polka dot that adds a little something because you believe that past a certain age, uh, a man yeah, should and, cover and his neck. Yeah, it, instinctively, uh, I'm 55 if, uh, since uh, for several years now. Uh, I think it's better to cover your neck yeah. with a neck neckwear. Or, yeah. You know. Yeah. This yeah. one is called neckerchief. Yeah. Yeah. Neckerchief. This is a little bit bigger than an handkerchief. Yeah. Uh, is it a neckerchief, darling? Yeah. yeah. And it's uh, it's beautiful. Okay. So I am sitting in front of you. I'm 58, and mm. I don't cover my neck. Are you? Am I still acceptable? Yeah, it's acceptable for you. <laughs> <laughs> that's a very I only speak for myself. Okay, I understand. Uh, yeah, that's that's a precision we want to make. It's not etiquette. It's not the rule that are grave it's, into it's stone. Not you, know, it's, you know, it's your perfect. But you are an expert, so I, I like to have your opinion. Next one. What about black shoes with blue suits or? Uh, brown shoes with blue shoes. There's a lot of debate. I was on a very famous TV show in France uh, by Mr. Frédéric Taddei, and he said, I was told all my life that you don't put brown shoes with blue suit. But me, I'm wearing brown shoes all, the, all day long with blue suit. So what yeah. is your opinion on that? Uh, in the past, we didn't have any choice uh, for the formal wear. It was always the black shoe with a, a dark navy suit because we didn't have any choice. Yes. Uh, Things have changed too yes. in this matter. So I think now a brown shoe, a middle to dark brown shoe, yes. is, is quite all right with a, a dark navy yes. uh, suit. Uh, burgundy is quite uh, good too. Yeah. A little bit uh, too American for the British people. Yes. But uh, it's quite good for me. Okay. And uh, with all this new uh, development about the, the cross calves to be and dyed the, and, and the, the patina, patina on shoes, yeah. uh, all this phenomenon. Uh, now you can you can choose easily uh, a dark navy 
a patina yes. matching your suit. So yeah. you, we don't have any debates anymore. Yeah, I agree mm. with you. It's funny because you were saying something to me just before uh, this, we recorded this show, you were saying to, to me that a guy who is wearing um, a blue suit with um, ox blood or burgundy shoes look mm. at, uh, like an American. You like an American. Uh, a guy who is wearing a, a, a dark blue suit with black shoes look like a French and a guy who is wearing dark blue suit but with light, 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 brown. light brown it looks like a caricature it tried to be Italian but it's, but, a, fa yeah, it's but, a failure yeah it's, it's a failure <laughs> definitely Italian people with taste don't, don't really like light brown shoes with dark yeah. navy suit yeah. it's too much contrast yeah ladies and gentlemen if you can if you take away something from this show I've seen so many people with light brown shoes, very light, with blue suits. It doesn't really work. No. Just, it's, a, it's a matter of taste, mm. but I've seen too many of mm. these. Mm. Okay, uh, is that okay to wear uh, loafers without socks? English uh, speak, speaking people yeah. will understand the difference between loafers yeah. and moccasin. We say soft loafer for moccasin. Yeah. yeah. So, when you have a loafer yeah. constructed, quite rigid, yeah. it thucks. Always. But when you have a moccasin, like an, a minetonka, or a, a, a driving, so or a a soft driving shoe, yeah. a soft loafer, yeah. it's without socks. Okay. You, ah, so you, you mean there's no choice? No, That's no, no, if it's, you, if, you don't wear a soft moccasin with socks during winter. No. It's an aberration. Yeah, of course. So you mean the car shoe, for example? The car shoe, it's without socks. Definitely. During it, the it's summer. It's near the beach yeah. during the summer. And you don't wear this uh, in town during winter with socks. Yes. So that's very, this is good sense. So you told me in the French version, because we recorded the French version of this show just before that, what is the original, because everybody thinks car shoe, everybody thinks about Todd's, which is the most famous. What is the original uh, car shoe? Uh, the original, as far uh, as we know, is uh, Minetonka. Yes. The US brand. And it came from the Indian Native American. Yes. Uh, with the technique of the apron uh, stitched by hand. Yeah. So the real moccasin comes from here. From Native Americans. From Native American. Yeah. yeah. And they've been popularized worldwide by Toz. Which is Minetonka a was a, was a, it is a very popular brand in the US. Mm -hmm. And you can, you can find them in a gas station. And it's, it's, uh, yeah? It's, yeah, it's quite popular. Okay. And then uh, Toz. Uh, said, okay, I, re I invented this style, but he didn't in invent... Uh, it's not a touch invent invention. He didn't create anything mm. about this. Uh, he he makes this... Populari popularized it. Popularized. Yeah. Popularized it, but he didn't invent it. What about a suit uh, with a matching Bermuda, matching short? I'm quite all right with this. Uh, I, I made several of them during mm. the years for customers back in... Uh, when they, they were working in Hong Kong. Yeah. So it depends on the climate, the climate mm -hmm. you know, really. Uh, if it's very hot, very humid, mm -hmm. uh, I think you can wear a, a former suit with a short pants, a yeah. Bermuda. Yes. You, you can wear it, no okay. problem. With okay, long, you, socks. long socks. You long socks uh, and, formal, and formal shoes. You mean knee-high socks? Knee-high socks, yeah. That's very... Look at the, my wife, she said, oh, you see, it's a matter of taste. But uh, actually... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, no, I like it. You it's like quite it. charming. It's yeah. very charming. It's very... I would say it can be old world looking a little bit, you know? Yeah. If you wear it with the high, yeah, you yeah. know, knee-high socks and the Bermuda. You say a Bermuda in English? A what? A Bermuda and, and uh, maybe in Cirque Circle or whatever, it can be interesting. Okay. Well, me, I'm not a client of that, but uh, for you, it's okay to do that. Yeah, it's quite funny. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next one uh, sneakers with suits, yes or no? Absolutely not. No, non negotiable. Non negotiable. Okay. Uh, well, I was about to say, what about the black suit? But uh, <laughs> uh, it, according to Mark, the, ba the black suit does not exist. So it's an abstraction. So I have my answer. It doesn't exist in your no. universe. Okay, it's me. I have a black suit for funerals only yeah. because I think it's that's the only that's the only way to yeah to wear it exactly yeah. exactly. And you know what? It's the only suit in the world that you buy with the hope that you will not wear it too often. Yeah. Uh, the black suit. And uh, but I have one, and mm. I use it for funeral. I must say that there's a little. Uh, not fashion, but the New Yorker, they like to wear it 
the black suit with an open white shirt. Yeah. It can be a little bit relaxed. You know, I mm. don't despise it. I don't use it very often. I prefer the tuxedo. Uh, yeah, but that's another. Even, even if it's uh, worn uh, quite casual. You yes. Know? So without the pants, white shirt, open neck for a, a trendy party. Yes. I prefer a tuxedo jacket than a black jacket. Okay. So the black suit definitely doesn't exist for you. No. Okay, my friend, no problem. Hello, New Yorkers. <laughs> you know, this is Mr. Guillot from France, <laughs> and uh, he has the right to have his own opinion, but I kind of agree with him. So, of course, no sunglasses inside. Yeah, it it's, goes it's common sense. Yeah, <laughs> we, are, we, are, we agree on that. Um, no cuffs on the trousers of a smoking, of uh, a tuxedo. Uh, never. 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 Of it's a straight bottom yes. or with a slit, yeah. but without turn up. Never turn up. Okay. Uh, no, no pockets. On no the pockets on the trousers. Yes. Never. Never. Okay. And, uh, and on the jacket, no vents. Yeah. No vents. No vents. No, no, no vents. Okay. No, but, no, no. but I think it's this is quite because it has to be really, yeah. really adjusted. And what about the, the, uh, the jacket, uh, the pockets? No flap pockets, right? No On flap, the... just straight. Yes. But a uh, pipe with a silk. Yeah. We call it, the... uh, we call it, uh, passepoilé in French is jetted, I think, pocket. Jetted, jetted, jetted pocket. Yeah. yeah. With uh, the jet, the jetted part in silk yeah. as the label. Okay. So that's, Formal and well, we call black tie normally. The English say call it semi-formal mm -hmm. because formal is white tie. The white tie. This is the frock a, coat. The frock coat. Mm -hmm. And the morning coat is the formal, but for the day. Yeah. And, okay. Until 6 p.m. Until 6 p.m. So then, these are rules, in my opinion, but we agree on that. Is is there one uh, area of men's style that we should really know and? follow the rule, it's black tie yeah. and white tie. Because it's codified, so yeah. it, it's codified for a reason. Yeah. It's for, uh, it comes from the gallantry, mm. uh, when men must be the second, in the second uh, I uh, understand. Pl plan. Yes, and to the, make their, uh, the woman the women, shine. The woman must shine first. Yeah. Yeah. Then they codified everything for everybody to be the same. Yes. Black and white. Yeah. And but, uh, but you're not the same. It depends you, on the you cut. Can, yeah, it depends on the cut, the fabrics, yeah. the making. Yes. And uh, the, the shoe, the yeah. shoe, but yeah. different The way style. you pull it up, the way you and behave. The way you, yeah, yeah, and that's yeah. the grace, that's the elegance. Yeah. Because every, every, everybody is like a, a penguin. Yes. But <laughs> you can be, you can sort out yeah. just because you're elegant. Yeah, and your sense of grace. Yeah, because ladies and gentlemen, this is all about grace, and that's not an easy thing to reach. Even in life, uh, sometimes you have the impression, but I think grace also has to do with the fact that you are in agreement with yourself mm -hmm. and the way you act yeah. in your in your garments. And this is something we try to explain so many times on this show that comfort and elegance are not a dichotomy; they can go very well yeah. together. Yeah. And the more you are comfortable the more you can become the more will be elegant. Yeah. Yeah. Let's continue. Um, oh, that's something that very few people know. No broken colors. How do you call it? A col cassé. Uh, it's a wing color. A wing color. The no wing. wing color with a tuxedo. Never. 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 So many people are doing it on purple. They, they buy a wing color specifically the, for tuxedo. The wing color uh, only applies on a white tie. The only. frock coat. Yes. Only. Only. And for a black tie, normal color. Normal, straight color, or a little bit cut away. Yes. Uh, but never wing. Yeah. Never wing. So that's a mistake many people do. Yeah, of course. And specifically, I've seen wedding in the US, and, and everybody try to have this wing color on purpose. Yeah. And it means the clothiers are telling them you have to have a wing color, but yeah. it's against the rule, literally. Yeah, it's a problem of culture. Yeah, wow. So you see, gentlemen and ladies, uh, I just, you know, maybe sometime we have something that not only we break the rule, but we believe that we follow <laughs> the rule, but <laughs> wrongly, because the rule is no wing color with a black tie. Important to remember. Uh, next one. Uh, what about, what is your opinion of this little, tiny, tiny, tiny colors that we see everywhere in this small shirt? And sometimes, what do you think about that? 
you, you must get rid of this kind of color. Yeah. They don't exist anymore. Okay. They don't exist at all. Yeah. So it, it's preferable uh, to have a, a Nehru or a officer color yeah. shirt. You mean without Nehru color, color without yeah. colors? Yeah. Without color, then yeah. this kind of ridiculous, uh, yeah. tiny colors. Yeah. That yeah. But you know what the problem is that um, I'm the same as you. I said, what is that? You know, sometimes the, you can't even knot properly a tie with that yeah, because yeah, the, the knot is bigger than the color. It's, no. it's crazy. And then mm -hmm. we prefer when the, the, the point of the color go a little bit under the jacket. Under the jacket. It's jacket. our preference, yeah. of mm -hmm. course. But the problem is when you look at big brown's advertisement, uh, you know, there's a brown that has my first name, Hugo B, <laughs> Hugo B, you know, <laughs> Hugo B, they advertise these tiny colors. With yeah, this. Because they follow, they follow the fashion, the, yes. the trends, and it, it's without end. Yeah, but it's, gonna it be doesn't lost. look good. It just doesn't look good. Following it's, fashion, you're going to be lost in the void. You, you <laughs> I agree with you. Hello, Hugo B. Uh, <laughs> I hope you are going well. They are doing well, actually. They're from Germany. Everybody thinks they are from whatever, Italy or no, they're from Germany. I have nothing against them except uh, I don't like this tiny, tiny color. They should be forbidden, in my opinion. Ties, uh, what's the correct size for you of a tie? Between? Between eight centimeters and nine and nine and a half max. Okay. Top. And you are wearing more? Nine and a half. Nine and a half, That's which my is favorite. quite wide. Yeah. Okay. So never wear these tiny, tiny ties, like seven centimeters no, or no. even sometimes six centimeters. No, no, no. It's, uh, it's no. awful. 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 Okay, so you remember, we're going to translate this in, in, in inches, but it's between eight and nine and a half. And nine and a half. And even eight for me is a little bit short. I yeah, prefer a little, a little bit, yeah. bit larger. Yeah, I, don't, I don't wear eight, eight centimeters tie. Okay. Uh, only between nine and nine and okay. a half. Okay, the, the ties I have from you, I have several ties from you. I showed you one yesterday, you know, with this check pattern. It's yeah. a nine. It's a nine and a half. Nine and a half. Mm. It's, it's quite a substantial. I, I produce, I produce uh, nine and a half. Okay. That's good. This is why I and and it. not not uh, ten or eleven or mm. because uh, this is too much. Yeah, yeah, it's more like a late seventies US TV show. So <laughs> okay. no, yeah. I'm gonna avoid this too. Okay, perfect. narrow is not good, but large is not good. Okay, yeah. um, something you said to me, and I want really to explain. No button down shirt. Mm? I don't have one here, but no button down shirt with a double breasted jacket. Yeah, that's. That's my uh, opinion from a long time ago. Yeah. I, I, I never uh, could have uh, wear uh, this kind of shirt with a, a double-breasted uh, jacket, yes. even if it's not a suit, if in, even if it's just a double-breasted jacket. Yeah. I can't force you could, myself. You can't do it. No, no, I can't do it. You can't wear a button-down shirt with a double-breasted jacket. I love a button-down shirt. That's and you my favorite. That, that's and my favorite uh, Color, yeah, short color, right. and I love uh, double-breasted jackets, but not but together. Not together. That's no. strange. It's antinomic for me. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't have. It. Well, me, I, I can imagine doing it if the double-breasted is strictly casual. Yeah, you know, very mm. relaxed with. Mm. But uh, actually, I don't wear. Uh, look at my wife. Do I wear this? Um, no, I never wear this. So I'm following you on this one. But mm. I didn't. I was not able to express it. You know, mm. sometimes you do things instinctively. But it's very difficult to express them. So no button-down shirt with a double-breasted jacket, even if it's a sport jacket. Mm. What about a tie with a button-down shirt? Yeah, absolutely, I can. You can do yeah, that. It depends on the tie, the, uh, of the nature of the tie. So yeah. It can be knitted yeah. uh, straight, yes. bottom. It can be in tweed or in linen or yes. in cotton and linen, so, some, something more rustic. And sporty, a little bit more sporty. A casual sporty. Yeah. And it's, it's you quite mean good. no really uh, no jacquard silk, no weaved silk, no formal silk, like yeah. plain satin or with yeah. a, uh, with a uh, button down. Okay. But otherwise, uh, knitted, uh, tweed uh, ties, it can be fun. That's cool. Mm. That's cool. Me, I don't really wear button down shirt and I never put a tie. But uh, you're right. Actually, it's always a balance. Yeah. And, uh, between the casual and semi-casual, exactly. and you have mm. to, 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 to decide where you, you want to be a little bit more casual or a little bit more mm. dressed up. So, but according to Mr. Guillot, so it is the gospel of etiquette according to <laughs> Marc Guillot, uh, you can perfectly uh, have a beautiful tie with a button-down 
shirt, but no button button down shirt with a double breasted jacket. Um, what about black shoes with uh, chinos or let's say relaxed trousers? Never, never, never. It doesn't exist. Black black shoes are formal shoes. Yes, even a black moccasin, a black loafer, depends on the loafer, but uh, a black moccasin don't exist. Okay, it, <laughs> it doesn't have any, you know, sense. Yeah. <laughs> so black shoes, it's Oxford. It can be some derby. Yeah. Like the, the Prince of Wales derby, like two or three highlights playing two. Mm -hmm. It can be acceptable. It's quite formal. So you've got to keep the black shoes with the formal yeah. wardrobe. Yeah. No chinos, no blue jeans with black shoes, no corduroy trousers. Never. Never. You've got a lot of brown. Burgundy, light brown, middle brown, suede. Yeah. You've got a lot of choice yes. to put according to this kind of casual trousers. So yes. why put some black shoes? Yeah. I, so I have a question that's just coming to my mind. And what about, because I've seen them, black suede. This yeah. is a kind of an, it's, yeah, an, yeah. It's an, it's a strange object. Yeah, black it's, it's suede. quite recent. Yes. It, it, it didn't exist in the past. So... I think because suede is casual. From, from 30 years now, yeah. we, we, we saw this from Italian brand, yeah. uh, even English brand, yes. French brand, uh, the very well-known brands. But f for me, it's, a, it's an aberration, it's a mistake. Mm. The, it doesn't have any... It doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't make sense. Because the suede is casual. have any reason to, to be. Yeah, so suede is casual. Suede is casual. And black, uh, black is and the, formal. And with the black suede... Yeah. Uh, doesn't uh, uh, keep uh, full black, jet black. Uh, yeah, it it's always, always, it yeah. always becomes a little gray, grayish brown. Yeah. No, it's not. Well, we leave this question open because mm. me, I don't have a definite answer to that because I've I never had one pair of no. that, so I don't even know how to wear it. I mean, I'm sorry. Ah, if it's ah, no, mix, but it's a spectator. It's, it's a, a mix it different. B material it makes it different. different. Yeah. yeah. But plain uh, black sweat, it doesn't have any purpose, you know. Mm. Okay, next one. You told me that for you, when you have a beautiful dress, a uh, pair of shoes, like a beautiful Oxford yeah. or really thin. Handmade with a very thin uh, bevel yes. waist. Yes. So you, can't, you have to wear uh, um, um, a trousers with an iron pleat in the middle. Yeah, even yeah. if the, the trousers are uh, with or without pleats yes. here. Uh, the central uh, pleat. Yeah. For me, it's necessary for to wear uh, a formal shoe. Yes. Very thin, very narrow. Yes. Uh, very elegant with the bevel waist. Yeah. It's uh, it doesn't it doesn't match with a pair of chinos or a pair of blue jeans or yes. corduroy trousers, more ru rustic, more robust. Mm -hmm. So I prefer a round two double sole rubber or leather yes. with this kind of casual trousers. Yes. But very thin. Uh, I, I saw uh, several times, a lot of time in, uh, on Instagram, some, some guy that uh, took a uh, uh, picture of themselves yes. with very nice, very nice shoes from a uh, uh, bootmaker, sort yes. of handmade. Yeah. And, High and, level they, stuff. and they match this with a, a pair of blue jeans, selvage or uh, chinos. Or, and and for you it doesn't work. Uh, there's a discrepancy between the, these two styles. I understand. Yeah. It's from instinct. Mm -hmm. I don't think there is any rule. It's just common sense. Mm -hmm. So you call it a crease normally. The, the crease. The, the, the crease. Yeah, the, the, the central it's crease. It's a neat crease. A neat because, crease. Okay, I can... Uh, full disclosure, we have Sonia behind mm. the camera and she's showing me the words sometimes because you have to remember we're just French. We're just French guys. You know, we, we try to do <laughs> our best. So you remember... Beautiful, fine, bevel waist, beautiful dress shirt, uh, shoes, dress shoes, shoes. sorry, mm -hmm. uh, with a, a crease, a crease, crease, crease mm. because it's more classy. Yeah. I agree with you 100% on that. Next one, um, next one here, okay. What about, oh, that's something you told me I was not aware of, and I think this is a very interesting quote unquote rule. You say, make sure that your Trousers is never heavier in terms of fabric yeah. than your jacket. Yeah. Uh, give me an example of that. For example, I can't wear a tweed jacket with a linen pants. It doesn't yeah, work. Of course, <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It doesn't make any sense. Yes. Uh, 
um, if you wear a very heavy fabric yes. jacket, mm -hmm. like a Saxony tweed, Donegal tweed, mm -hmm. for me, it's not good if your trousers are in light gabardine. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Uh, like uh, very light, very... It doesn't there, work. There is a discrepancy here that uh, make me... Uh, Almost nervous. Uh, uh, yeah, an, an ease, at an ease. Yeah. You know? You're not comfortable Almost, with that. Yeah, so the rule is that all. make sure that the fabric of the, your pants are never lighter than the fabric of your jacket. Never lighter. A match is good. Yeah. Even if the, a contrario, yeah. uh, even if the trousers are a little bit heavier than the jacket, it's not a problem. It you works can, on, the, on the reverse. Yeah, it, yeah. You can even wear uh, wool trousers yes. with a pure linen jacket. It doesn't make any cause any problem that's quite good too. I understand but the, the reverse is unacceptable it's unacceptable. unacceptable if you have a thick jacket to make sure that your trousers are not thinner than your thinner jacket and, and but lighter and lighter but mm -hmm. reversely you can uh, it's acceptable if your trousers depends are, on the yeah, the dose but heavier uh, you than yeah, your yeah, jacket yeah. I didn't a little know bit this rule. heavier yeah. a little bit heavier yeah. it's acceptable yeah. Yeah. yeah one more time these are rules that we probably use instinctively, yeah. but it's a different thing that we are doing. So it's a good exercise to try mm -hmm. to express them. Mm -hmm. And I hope you appreciate this um, crash course on <laughs> etiquette by <laughs> Maestro Marguillo, <laughs> who is very famous in France for his... Um, he's very opinionated, we say this like that, about this, but uh, most of his opinions are very interesting to follow but i can uh, yeah I, I can wear pink suits too so yeah i know i know i, <laughs> I I've follow seen rules you. but i break them <laughs> i've seen you often. wearing some real <laughs> bizarre stuff i remember it was like a dusty pink you say dusty pink right dusty pink yeah. suit back in the years yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, a vieux rose yeah uh, i remember that was mm -hmm. a beautiful suit beautiful actually. yeah, yeah. you, you can nice. still fit in it or? Uh, no, i don't think so you don't Not think this so. one <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what about um, another two or three to, to wrap things up? Um, what about uh, wearing a waistcoat or a vest? You know, we say waistcoat in England, the, in England and we say a vest, vest in, in the US. In the US. Yeah. What about wearing a vest or a waistcoat without a jacket? No, it doesn't pose any problem. Yeah, no, you're, you're happy good. with that. Yeah. Uh, you've got to, to stay, to, to keep it uh, yes. buttoned. Okay. Uh, you you don't wear it of openly. We're not rock stars. No. And we're not on stage. <laughs> so it, it got to be buttoned. Yes. Uh, never the bottom one. Yes. On yeah. We're not David Always. Bowie or no. Keith Richard. But yeah. the bottom uh, the bottom uh, button yes. must be unbuttoned Always. at all time. Okay. But for the rest, you keep it buttoned. Yeah. You can wear it with a, a shirt, open open neck, or yeah. with a neck neck uh, kerchief. Yeah. Or, so yeah. for you, it's totally yeah, okay it's to, to, yeah. I must Dep agree Depends on the waistcoat, depends on the fabrics. Yeah. And, but if it's in pure linen or heavy cotton or corduroy, yeah. you, you can wear it without anything else. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't like when you wear like pinstripe waistcoat oui. from a suit yes. and you wear it alone with a pair of jeans. Yeah. I don't like this kind okay. of, of no, Me neither, me neither. But it happens to me when I'm, in a, even in a business setting, uh, that one is too hot all of a sudden and I have mm -hmm. uh, coordinated a real mm -hmm. three-piece mm -hmm. I can quite easily drop the, the jacket yeah, yeah, it yeah, doesn't okay. matter to me no, I like good. it's a little bit more relaxed mm -hmm. and uh, and Sonia is a professional of uh, the the, the, the waistcoat of different colors. She yeah. can, she, she's been showing so many of our subscribers yeah. how you can with two or three waistcoat or vest of mm -hmm. different colors make a combination of like a, just with a few jackets you can yeah, an yeah, infinite combination mm -hmm. of colors you 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 comfortable ones with odd vest or odd waistcoat or you prefer when they are really ah, no, 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 coordinated no, no. I, I, uh, on the contrary i prefer when the, the waistcoat is not matched when yes. it's contrasting ah, you like, prefer when it's contrasted yeah, check the waistcoat even stripe big striped waistcoat yes i, I prefer I, I don't i don't really like i'm not into three pieces suit okay I prefer when the the, 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 the waistcoat is different, is uh, yeah. contrasting. So you decided not to give three piece a chance. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I couldn't miss this one once again. Uh, my last question uh, was like in French, we're going to finish uh, belts or suspenders or side adjusters. What, one, what's your one or the other. Never mm -hmm. the two together. Uh, yeah, that's for sure. No <laughs> suspenders with belts. I've seen people doing this actually. 
but uh, it's yeah, it's, 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 it's maybe it's, for a comic film. Yeah, maybe. it's quite. I think. So it's what do you the think? You wear belts. Uh, I wear belts with uh, chinos, blue jeans, or every casual uh, mm -hmm. garment. Yes. And I'm more comfortable with suspenders when uh, I have a high waist formal trousers. Yes. With a tie. Yeah. Uh, I prefer to have suspenders. Yes. Uh, for the comfort and for, and for the aesthetic. Okay. It's better for me. Yeah. But it, it's not a rule. It's yeah. just my uh, my instinct, my yeah. uh, my yeah, taste. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I like it like that. And then the last of the last, but this one is I can already tell you the answer. And if you have to take away one thing, please. Please, ladies and gentlemen, never coordinate your tie with your pocket square. Ah, never, never. never. This is no, uh, this is a tutorial crime. Ah, it's a sin. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you. And this is bizarre because in the past they were selling the package. Yeah, of course. It, it, it was more convenient square. for the manufacturer, of course. Because and I've seen it still today. Yeah, uh, yeah. mainly in the USA. Yeah, yeah. and I. Please, gentlemen, please don't do that because it's it, because you know the, the effect it has. He said, You've seen that I've been coordinating my style, yeah, yeah, my it's pocket horrible. square. You know, it's, it's horrible. horrible. Yeah, this is for horrible. us, it's non negotiable. You can stay in the same colors if you want, you can say, but most of the time, and that's the freedom of pocket square, it's so yeah. fun. To, to try and sometimes yeah. never buy a pocket square without trying it like because sometimes yeah. you said this will not work and sometimes yeah. by surprise mm. it works. Mm. You, I, I know that you don't like silk for pocket squares. I'm, I'm not a fond of, yeah. I, I prefer uh, linen, cotton. Uh, cotton or the mix, the blend, uh, yes. cotton linen. Yeah. yeah. Because it's it's not pocket square anymore, it's anchor sheaves yes. that, you, that you fold. Y yes. So I, I prefer this than the, the silk pocket square. Yeah, because mm. the silk you can't really fold it because yeah, it's a little bit fluffy. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah I understand you. I'm Me too, it. I must admit that with Sonia we, we wear, I would say 80% of the time, Mm. Cotton or cotton and linen, yeah. which is the most beautiful from Simone Godard, for yeah. example, the French, famous French brand. Yeah. We say but hi. It, it we say hi to Benjamin. Uh, yes, hello Benjamin, such a good man. And uh, this man was traveling. Can you believe that he was mm. traveling the world mm. selling his handkerchiefs, yeah. and he made a beautiful success with that. And we hope he will go through this crisis because he told me a few weeks ago that the market of the ties and the handkerchief mm -hmm. was not in mm -hmm. very good shape, like yeah. uh, everywhere around <laughs> yeah, the world. Yeah. But uh, I'm. Sure. Sure, they're gonna make it because mm -hmm. they're um, making among the most beautiful and ah, one of in the, the most world. beautiful in the world. Yeah. Yes, yeah, definitely. Well, I think I hope this was interesting uh, for all of you. For me, I had a very good moment. So mm -hmm. I me learned too. a few things. You know, I su I'm supposedly an expert, but uh, I think it's also a good posture in life to always have your ears wide mm -hmm. op open and and listen and also sometimes change your mind because me yeah we can I, um, confront point of views exactly if they exactly. are different so yeah. it's not a problem exactly and me sometimes i must admit i am changing my mind on a few things uh, we have a disagreement with um, with mark about uh, all the lapel pins tie pins uh, all the jewelry mm. for gentlemen i know mm. you don't like that at all mm. and me I, I i like it a lot so we're, we know each other since almost 15 years. And he, he saw me with a lot of tie bars and tie pins. And, and all the time we had not an argument. It was just funny to exchange our words. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's a question of sensitivity and aesthetic mm. eye. But you, you don't use this kind of thing. I don't like uh, extra stuff. Yes. No, no. You prefer that yeah, the garment Just the garment, the cut, yeah. the fabric, the, the matching color and yes. fabrics. Yeah. Shoes, neat. Yeah. Mm. A good watch. Yes. And that. Yeah. Pretty but much. you are wearing neckerchiefs quite easily. You love that. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, Mark, thank you very much for thank all you. this. Thank you. I hope you had some good advices. Once again, I think the last advice we can agree on mm -hmm. is that the ultimate rule is that please yourself. Be happy with Be what you wear. Be, Be comfortable. comfortable. Be natural. Exactly. And if it pleases you, uh, most of the time, it will please others yeah. because you will feel comfortable. Thank you, yeah. Mark. Thank we you, give Hugo. you an appointment to the next episode of Sotorial Talks. In the meantime, dress well and take care. Bye-bye, my friends. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.